beautiful friends it is day one of spookathon i'm so excited i hope you are as well i'm gonna try to daily vlog for the week of the readathon we'll see how it goes if i can do that but i'm really gonna try to do all seven days of vlogging I'm still in bed currently but i gotta get up and get the day started all right starting out with my first book if you didn't watch my spookathon tbr and you're interested in see what i'm reading for the week i'll have a link to it in the description box below i am going to be starting off with the chestnut man and it's probably the biggest book on my tbr so i definitely wanted to get that started i definitely need coffee first when i get up i just realized though that i used my last k-cup coffee that i order off of amazon and I'm gonna have to order another batch of them off of it. So, so I'm gonna actually have to go out and buy some coffee today. I'm either gonna go to Tim Hortons for my usual coffee or you know what? It's been years since I've had and tried the pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. It looks like everyone is in love with it. And to be honest, I'm more of an apple cider girl during this time than I am a pumpkin spice. I actually don't really like pumpkin spice flavoring anything um but maybe my palate has changed over the past couple years so i think i'm actually gonna go to starbucks and try the pumpkin spice latte for the first time in years and hopefully see if i like it this time we'll see if i don't like it i'm just gonna go get a large coffee from tim hortons after but it's freezing outside and i did not dress warm enough so this is gonna be a cold run I'm gonna place my mobile order right now really quick before I go to Starbucks. I was gonna do a tall just in case I didn't like it, but you know what? Go big or go home. I think I'm just gonna get the venti because just in case I like it. And then I don't have to like pull around to the drive-thru again and get another, you know. And then I am in soup mode because it's so cold. I think I'm gonna get <clears throat> potato soup from Panera Bread because I love that and their cheddar broccoli is really good, but I'm in the mood from, but I'm in the mood for some loaded baked potato soup. So gonna do those two things and then come back home and read The Chestnut Man. So I will talk to y'all in a little bit. large actually <laughs> venti uh, pumpkin spice latte so I'm gonna try it for the first time and see if I like it it smells pretty good oh oh it's still hot it burned my tongue hmm you know what I can really see why everyone loves it when I did order this, I said light for the pumpkin spice, like dusting and stuff, or the flavoring in it. So there's a light amount of it, but I actually think I like this. It's pretty good. I'm glad I got the venti then, because I can see why a lot of people really like that for this time of year, especially for it being freezing out. That's just super warm and comforting. So that's a win in my book. I still love my apple cider. On to getting my soup because I'm super hungry and I'm super hungry. Super, super hungry. I was trying to make a joke out of it, but I don't know if it worked. I'm gonna go to Panera and I will check back with you all when I get back and I have soup in my hands and the chestnut man started. Also, before I go off, are you a pumpkin spice latte kind of person or are you a apple cider for this time of year? Because I'm curious to know what everyone drinks or if you don't drink any one of those two, what do you drink when it's cold out and you want something warm and comforting? Like hot chocolate, tea, any one of those. Let me know. I'm even wearing these fun like 
red fuzzy socks to match the chestnut man while I'm reading it. Oh, super cozy. I forgot, I think I got these from Target a couple years back. <laughs> midnight and officially the end of spookathon day one i didn't get to as much reading as i wanted to today for the book but i'm hopefully gonna get some more done tomorrow i did read a little chunk into it i am on chapter 29 which is page 103 it's like a 500 and something page book so Still got quite a bit to go with that and I'm hoping to get at least halfway through it tomorrow. I'm not sure how to feel about it yet. Um, I kind of, some parts I'm a little like bored on and then other parts I'm very interested in like when we're following the detectives trying to figure out everything and who the chestnut man is. So those parts are interesting to me and going into it I did read that People that can't handle gruesome or have a weak stomach to particular things shouldn't read this book or pick it up. I kind of fall into that category, but I thought that I would be okay with reading this and definitely wasn't prepared for it. I do agree with that if you don't like or are very uncomfortable with detailed, gruesome, gory killings. Uh, this might not be for you. <laughs> so going forward with the book, I feel like the murder scenes and the killings that are happening in here are all going to be very detailed and gory and gruesome and probably hard to read. So I'm going to know that going into the rest of the book and definitely going to read on even though those parts make me uneasy. Um, like I said, I knew that going into the book and I just didn't realize how much and how detailed they were gonna be so that's something to expect going into the chestnut man also i have never watched it before but i know some people have is if you liked the show the killing um the author of this book wrote the show the killing so that's pretty cool i think i'm gonna watch that and see if i like that show i'm interested to read on and see what else i think about this book going more into it because like I feel like for a 500 plus page book, going and reading 100 pages into it, it's not really like diving too much into it. So I'm interested to 
probably get halfway if not more tomorrow and see what other thoughts I have besides just you know being okay so far yeah that is all I read today um, hopefully I can read a lot more and update you as the day goes on tomorrow so that is it for my spookathon day one I hope that you enjoyed I know there wasn't a lot of reading in this or really anything <laughs> I'm not even sure how this vlog's gonna go we'll see if I put it up or if I combined it I'm gonna stop talking so I don't wake up anyone in my house currently. Um, I wish you all a good night. Thank you so very much for watching this vlog. I will see you tomorrow for my Spookathon day two vlog. And that is it.